Hey guys, Adam with Directed here. Today we have a video about the introduction to DS4. We got a lot of great information in here for you, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So we have our uh, modules here. We're going to do a quick overview of the plugs, and then uh, in our next uh, slide here, uh, we're going to go over the plugs in more detail and what the wires are and uh, what they do. So. As you can see here, I have our two different modules. Um, I have our plus module here and then the non plus module here. So on here, everything that we're going to talk about is the exact same other than this high current plug here. So this is uh, on the plus model. So we'll start with this one. Um, we have our high current outputs here. So this is going to be for all of our uh, uh, high current required cars uh, to do remote start. Then we have our low current uh, relays here along with our main power and ground. Then we have our inputs and output plug here on the 22 pin. And then on the end here, we have our data plug. So the same on the non plus model here, we have our low current, uh, low current relays here. We have our inputs and outputs, our 22 pin plug here and our data plug down on the end. So from here on over, all of these are going to be the exact same on both models. Um, like I said, the only exception is gonna be this high current plug here on the plus model. So let's flip it around to the back side here. So on the back side, we have our two pin temperature sensor port. It's our two pin black port here. We have our two black four pin DDD ports. Uh, these are DDD 2.0. So this is for our, our um, antennas and sensors. Our white four pin DDD port is actually a DDD 2.0 port as well, but we'll switch back and forth between DDD 1.0 and 2.0 uh, if you wanna add a smart start on it. And then our last port here is going to be the, uh, this is going to be our uh, two pin RF port. So uh, we'll, we'll go back over all of these, like I said, in a little bit more detail here later on uh, in this video. On the tops of the modules here, so we have, <clears throat> we have our fuses all on board now. So if we pop this little door off, we have our high current fuses here. So our main ignition, our flex relay, the pink white, and then our starter accessory circuit fuse. Then we have our relay three fuse. So we're gonna talk about this in some serious detail um, because this is actually a really cool feature of the, of the DS system. We can actually use relay three, not only for parking lights, but we can use it for other things like second starter uh, and other outputs other than just parking lights. So pay close attention to this fuse. Um, it comes set off to the side of the brain over here. Um, you can put it into either a positive or a negative slot here, depending on the application. All right. So again, high current fuses, relay three main fuse there. On the next one, you can see on the non plus, we don't have all of those high current fuses because uh, we don't have high current on this one. So here we just have our relay three fuse. Again, it's set off to the side and you have your positive and negative terminals here to choose what you want to do with that. Um, it's not something you guys are going to have to guess and check because uh, it's actually going to be laid out in the guide for you. So you just have your relay three again because it's coming out of this plug here and then you have your main five amp fuse. Now, uh, because the interface is built on board in these modules, you actually have your programming LEDs here so they are both on the top of the module here. And then you also have your programming button. So your programming button on the low current is right here. And then on the high current or the plus model, it is right here. So if you guys can see that. All right, so on the back of the DS4 and the DS4 plus modules, you're gonna see a bunch of numbers that are gonna have your build date your ID and your serial number. So if you're ever calling us and we ask for the ID number, it's so that we can actually look and see what the module was flashed for, the settings that you set uh, and anything that was changed. So that's gonna be in the upper right hand corner there. It's always going to be a seven digit number. The full serial number is beneath the barcode and you'll also see that the last seven digits correspond to the ID number. So if you're ever asked for that information by tech, um, or if there is a issue where the module is not assigned to your account, then we can, uh, we can reference those numbers and get the information that we need.
All right, so the first plug I want to talk about here is our main 12-pin connector. This has our main power and ground in it. It also has three relays. So these three relays uh, we can configure for the firmware to control the vehicle, uh, or you can configure them if we're not using them in the firmware for whatever you want. Just like any relay, you're going to have to make sure that whatever you're controlling, you have the right polarity going into the relay. So when the relay is triggered by the brain, it's coming out. So you'll notice relay one, you have blue, white, blue, red, and blue. That is 87, 8, 87, and 30 of the internal relay. So if you're using the blue wire to control something in the car, for example, positive parking lights, you would need to make sure that your blue red is on 12 volts constant so that it has 12 volts of input when that relay triggers for parking lights. Same thing, same thing with our relay two, which is our light green wires. You have light green red, light green, and light green white. So uh, again, you have 87A for your white stripe, 87 for your red stripe, and your solid color for 30. Now on relay three, which is our white and our white brown, uh, two things here. So you'll notice we don't have a 87 for this. That's because the polarity is set by that 15 amp fuse on board of the DS4. So make sure that whatever you're controlling with that white wire, you set the polarity on the fuse uh, on the top of the DS4. Now with 87A, obviously 87A is a white stripe on the other two relays, being this a white wire, we couldn't put a white stripe on a white wire, so we put a brown stripe on it. So that's the only difference between the other two relays and relay three. Our next plug here is our 22 pin connector. This is our input and output uh, low current uh, outputs. So the top row is all outputs. The bottom row is all inputs. And why do we do this? So most of the time over data, you're getting all of the inputs that you need, whether it be uh, your door triggers, your hood trigger, your brake, your e-brake. Um, those are 90% of the time all done via the firmware. So instead of hunting through a plug in multiple rows trying to find the color that you need, um, you're most of the time only using outputs. So if we put them all on the top row, it makes it easier to see um, and, and uh, signify the wire. A couple of changes that we made here from our previous analog systems are our lock wires. So previously our lock and unlock used to be solid green and solid blue. You, along with your door trigger used to be solid green, your uh, instant trigger input used to be solid blue, your uh, ground while running or status used to be solid blue, so you used to have multiple same color wires in the same plug, so you had to go through and look at your pinouts to figure out which ones you needed. So in the DS4 and DS4 Plus systems on this plug, we added a black stripe to the lock wire, so now unlock will be a blue-black and your lock will be a green-black. Now there is one wire in here on the actually on the whole system that is the same color and same size and that is pin 18 in this plug. It is an orange black wire. This is actually the same size and same color as our ISO wire on the data plug which we'll get to here in a second. So pay attention to that. The high current relay harness. So this is all for our, our high current vehicles uh, ignition system. This There's not a whole lot of change here for you guys that have used our systems in the past. Um, the only difference that you're going to see between this harness and say a 5706 is that there's no fuses in line because all those fuses are now on board as we talked about previously. So um, the inputs here for your red, your red black, and your red white, these are all inputs of relays. So if you're not using high current, you don't need to hook up these to 12 volts like you previously did in other systems like a 4105, uh, 4115 brain. So the nice thing is, is your main power and ground is all in that 12 pin plug we just talked about. So if you're not using this, don't need to worry about hooking those heavy gauge wires up. But you do still have your pink white, um, which is your used to be the flex relay. Uh, now that can be actually changed to anything, whereas previously it was only available for starter, ignition, or accessory. It can now be an auxiliary or a parking light or uh, the same programmable output as any of those on the 22-pin plug. The A-pin data harness. So again, here we have all of our data wires uh, that we previously had on our uh, interface module. So the tan and the tan black, there's your CAN1s, 
your orange, green, and orange, brown. That's your can twos. Your light green is your single wire can. Previously, we also had a purple yellow on our on our DB uh, DBL modules. Those are now internally connected, so you don't have two different separate wires for those. Along with your purple brown, your MUX wire, uh, previously it used to be purple green and purple brown. They were always connected together and they always went to the same wire, so we just internally connected them for you. And then there's that orange black, that ISO2 that we talked about, where it is the same color and same size as the uh, wire in the 22 pin connector. And then your yellow black, so those are your RX and TX wires there. All right, guys, so we just kind of went over all of the uh, plugs in depth on, uh, you know, what wires are where, your inputs, your outputs, your relays. So uh, TB122 here can be found under our tech documents. It's a, uh, it's a document we put together to kind of break this down for you um, so you know what, what the inputs, what the outputs, normally closed, normally open, and the relays are. Um, what your inputs and outputs are default on the low current side, what the plug positions of the pins are in case one happens to accidentally pull out, um, things like that. So if you need, uh, if you want to reference these wire colors, pinouts, uh, Tech Bulletin 122 again under Tech Docs, um, that's going to bring up this sheet here and, and do just that for you. All right, so now that you guys got a little bit better idea of the layout of the plugs here on the front of the uh, DS system, uh, we're gonna talk about the peripheral devices that go into these back ports here. So our D to D 2.0 ports and our D to D 1.0 port, our temperature sensor and our RF loop. So I'm gonna go over the uh, different peripheral inputs that we have and uh, give you an idea of where those go. So the first one here is going to be our XDR antenna. So this is our long range antenna. It's the 6867T. Um, it's got your valet button and your LED on board. And as you can see, it's got a D to D 2.0 plug on it. So it's got a black uh, four pin connector. It is gonna go into either one of those black four pin ports there. So uh, the, the ports aren't labeled. Uh, that's because they're actually common on the board. So you, know, you can actually plug that into either one of them there. So if you're using one of our long range remotes, this is the XDR antenna. You're gonna plug it into one of those black four pin ports there. Uh, for our entry level RF kits and, and one way, um, we have the 6166T antenna. Again, valet button, LED on it. Uh, it also has a four pin black D to D port on it. So all of our antennas are now running uh, D to D 2.0. So the nice thing is, is the upgradability. If they start with the entry level, decide they want longer range or two way. Now you're just swapping out the antenna head. It's all going to be the same cable. And again, it's going to go into one of those black D to D 2.0 ports on the back here. All right. Next one up here, you'll see this coming in every one of the boxes, either with the plus or the non plus system. Um, and it's going to come with the interconnect cable uh, for your either antenna or this. So this is our 8620. This is a valet LED pod. So the valet buttons on the top here, the LEDs actually, if you can see, there's five different lenses for them. So it kind of gives a 360 uh, illumination when it's mounted up on the windshield. So if you're doing like a three lock start or something like that, and you wanted to be able to pair Bluetooth to say the DS4, or maybe the customer lost their factory remote or the factory remote battery died and they need to override the alarm in order to be able to start their car, this is gonna give them that option. So anytime you're not using one of our antennas here in an RF, you would mount this. So you don't need them both because as you can see, the valet button and LED is built into both of the antennas. This does not have RF in it. It is just there to pair Bluetooth to the DS4 or to do an override for the alarm. Going back now to the sensors. So uh, this is our 8504D. This has got shock and tilt and temperature all built into it. Again, you're starting to see a trend here, right? Another black D to D port. So every one of these has a black four pin D to D 2.0 port on it. All right, so if you were using an antenna with an RF kit, that would go into 
one of your black ports here, your sensor would go into the other black port. Again, does not matter which one goes into where, right? They're, they're both common on the board. They both have their own individual D to D messages. So you would plug this into one and the antenna into the other, or maybe you're doing it off the factory remote. So you'd use the Valley LED pod here, and that would go into the other unused black D to D port. Then we have our two pin temperature sensor. So this comes in the box with every one of our uh, DS systems as well. If you're not using the 8520, um, if you're not doing security and just doing remote start, this is where you're pulling temperature from. Is this, uh, it is the two pin temperature sensor. Again, color coded, black two pin plug, black two pin port, right? Plugs right in there. All right, it does fit inside the white two pin port, but you don't wanna go there. Black two pin plug, black two pin port, plug it in, uh, mount it wherever you want inside the cab, it's gonna pull temperature from this. Last but not least, so we do have a little RF two pin plug on here. Same thing with any of our other bypass modules. Um, this is just an RF loop, gives you a ring, to go around the key cylinder. Um, I believe the only one that is left available is the RF LUB, which is just the universal. So basically you would take this, uh, cut one of these wires, do your key wrap in the middle of it, and then you could simply just plug it into the white two pin port here on the end. And that would give you your RF loop for uh, wrapping a key in say a Volkswagen or a vehicle that uh, we don't have a key data for. So that's the input side uh, for the peripherals on the DS4, DS3 and DS4, DS3 plus. So thank you guys. All right, guys, so I want to do a quick uh, review here. So the biggest difference between the plus model and the non plus model is your high current. All of your outputs to the vehicle are all on the front side. All of those peripheral add ons are on the back side. That 15 amp fuse on the top of both the plus and the non plus that 15 amp fuse is for relay three. I know it's a white wire uh, for those of you that have done our systems in the past. That's been our parking light wire but it's not always used for parking lights on the DS systems. That white port is for flashing and or our cellular smart start. So uh, if you're using an antenna or a sensor, those are both going into those black ports. And then again, that one common color, common size wire on the system, that is the orange black. Be careful and mindful of that. Uh, there is two of them, so pay special attention to that.